A cordial greeting. Today is Tuesday, September 30, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this afternoon's video, I will be talking about interesting facts related to Hurricane Humberto and Hurricane Imelda, whose circulations are very close to each other. And today, Tropical Storm Imelda strengthened into the fourth hurricane of the season and the third to form since September 21. In fact, this ties the record for the greatest number of hurricanes that have formed between September 21 and September 30. So, definitely, we are seeing that this year the peak of the season is occurring at the end of September, and it is expected to extend until mid-October. And although in the first part of the video I will be updating the forecast of Hurricane Humberto and Hurricane Imelda, in the second part, I will be talking about different areas that we will be monitoring during the coming weeks due to the possibility of additional cyclone development. So, it is important to know that there is a high probability that cyclonic activity will continue during October, and at the moment there is no reason to think that the hurricane season is over. Remember that it extends until November 30th, and particularly between October and November in the past we have seen the development of some major hurricanes in the Western Caribbean Sea and in the Gulf of Mexico. In addition, as you will see in the next few minutes, conditions across the tropical Atlantic still remain somewhat favorable for the development of other tropical waves which means there is the possibility of one or two additional cyclones forming before the Cape Verde season ends. So basically, this means that everyone in the Caribbean, Central America, Mexico, and the United States should continue to pay attention to the tropics, although of course, at the moment there is no threat of a direct impact from a tropical cyclone. Let's now zoom in on where the circulation of Hurricane Humberto and Hurricane Imelda is located. As we can see in the visible satellite animation, the circulation of both hurricanes is very close to each other, and while Hurricane Humberto has begun a weakening process, on the other hand, Hurricane Imelda is strengthening as it moves east toward Bermuda. And if we analyze historical data, as Michael Lowry shows in this image, you can see that the proximity of two tropical cyclones is a somewhat unusual event that has occurred only a few times in the Atlantic. In this image, you see the pairs of hurricanes that have occurred since the satellite era. This mainly happens in the subtropical Atlantic region, and in terms of records, Humberto and Imelda are 467 miles apart, which means that since 1851 they hold the second position for the closest hurricanes in the Atlantic. So, definitely a very peculiar event, and although fortunately neither of the cyclones directly affected the United States, unfortunately, the indirect effects of tropical storm Imelda produced heavy rains and flooding across eastern Cuba, where the death of some people was reported. Bermuda is also feeling some tropical storm conditions from today through Friday, and particularly between Wednesday and Thursday, the center of circulation of Hurricane Imelda is expected to directly affect the island with hurricane force winds. In this image, you can see the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Hurricane Humberto, which currently has maximum sustained winds of 80 miles per hour, will be moving east-northeast and is expected to dissipate into a non-tropical system by tomorrow afternoon. However, Hurricane Imelda is projected to continue strengthening. It currently has maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour. But as it approaches Bermuda it is forecast to strengthen into a Category 2 hurricane with maximum sustained winds of up to 100 miles per hour. In fact, it is anticipated to pass over Bermuda Wednesday night into Thursday morning, where a hurricane warning remains in effect. Here you can see the latest projections of wind gusts from both Hurricane Humberto and Hurricane Imelda. From today and at least through Thursday, tropical storm force winds will continue affecting the island, and particularly represented by the pink colors in this animation, Hurricane force winds should impact Bermuda Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. In terms of rainfall, the latest projections show between 3 to 5 inches accumulating from today through Thursday, so there is a possibility of some flash flooding. Now, with the accumulated cyclone energy contributed by Hurricane Humberto and Hurricane Imelda, you can see in this graph that the peak of cyclonic activity is occurring late in the season, represented by the blue line, unlike what is typical when the peak usually occurs during September. Hurricane Humberto and Hurricane Imelda have brought the season to accumulate 86 units of accumulated cyclone energy, which means that now the hurricane season has been more active than normal, at least in terms of accumulated cyclone energy. It is projected that cyclonic activity will continue over the next few weeks, mainly because we are in a favorable phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation that promotes instability and the formation of low pressures in the Atlantic. This phase is expected to remain over the region at least until mid-October. On top of that, unfortunately, the Atlantic continues with sea surface temperatures well above normal. In fact, as you can see in this image, in yellow and reddish colors, all the zones with above normal temperatures basically cover the entire tropical Atlantic, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the subtropical Atlantic. This also favors cyclonic activity continuing late in the season, 
and at some point, there's the possibility that tropical cyclones could form in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico that may pose direct land threats. In fact, if we analyze these anomalies, at least in the main development region that extends from the Caribbean to Africa and is represented in blue, we can see that we are in the third year with the highest average temperatures since 1991, only surpassed by 2024 and 23. And this is not just in the main development region. For example, if we move to the Gulf of Mexico, on average the temperatures are in second to third place for the hottest since 1991. We also see the same in the temperature anomalies in the Caribbean Sea, which are also in third place for the hottest since 1991. If we analyze long-term outlooks, NOAA's Climate Prediction Center has marked the area east of the Caribbean, the Western Caribbean Sea, and the Southern Gulf of Mexico with over a 20% probability of tropical cyclone development specifically between the period of October 8th to 14. And this closely matches long-term projections, for example, from the American Model Ensemble, some members of which develop a tropical depression between the Caribbean and Africa. They also suggest the development of several low-pressure systems either east of the Yucatan Peninsula, over the Bay of Campeche, or over southern Guatemala, El Salvador, and Chiapas, where there is the possibility of a Central American gyre forming and a low pressure developing with cyclonic potential in about 7 to 10 days. Another area we will be monitoring is the waters southeast of the United States, because some models, like the European Ensemble, show the possible development of a tropical depression or tropical storm. However, development probabilities in this area remain low for now. In addition, some European Ensemble members also develop a tropical wave from Africa. And overall, we see the same in the projections from Google's Artificial Intelligence Model Ensemble, which also develops a tropical depression between the Caribbean and Africa, and a low pressure toward the southeast of the United States. So, in summary, I can say that we have a very interesting phenomenon related to Hurricane Imelda and Hurricane Humberto, and it is possible that we will see the development of additional cyclones during the first half of October. So we will be monitoring the area toward the southeast United States, the Gulf of Mexico, the Western Caribbean Sea, and the region between the Caribbean and Africa. And for now, only Bermuda should be prepared for the strike of Hurricane Imelda, while at the moment the rest of the Americas have no threats of a direct tropical cyclone impact. And I take the opportunity to mention that if you live in southern and western Mexico, you should be alert to the possibility of a new cyclone developing that could affect the area starting this weekend. If you want to know more details from this video, I invite you to check the YouTube channel, since I recorded an update this morning. And before leaving, I would like to ask you to give a like to this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent night. See you tomorrow.